I'm going to be reading to you Goldilocks and Just One Bear, and it is written and illustrated by Lee Hodgkins. Goldilocks and Just One Bear. Once upon a time, there was this bear. One minute he was strolling in the woods, all happy-go-lucky. The next minute he didn't have a crumb of a clue where he was. He was one completely lost bear. Look, it looks like he's somewhere where there's a lot of signs that are telling him this way, no this way, wrong way. I wonder where he's at. The bear didn't much like this place. Too many bright lights and not enough twigs. Too much loud honking and beeping and not nearly enough owl hooting. The bear was also a teeny bit scared and his furry legs were slightly wobbly. Maybe the thing to do, said the bear, looking around, is to pop into snooty towers and get away from this terrible racket. Look, it looks like he's in a big city. He's gonna go into snooty towers. But the revolving door at Snooty Towers made the bear dizzy, and being dizzy with wobbly legs was bad news. It looked like he kept going around and around and around, and then he just got so dizzy. What the bear needed was a little rest. A little rest somewhere would definitely make things right. He's in an elevator and it's going up, up. The bear peeked through a door and thought how very pleasant it was up here. Not nasty and noisy like down there, said the bear. Just the place for a little rest. All that whooshy traveling was certainly a hungry business. So before his little rest, a little porridge seemed like a good idea. This porridge is too soggy. This porridge is too crunchy. It looks like he's eating the cat food. This porridge is a bit on the dry side, but is better than nothing. Now the bear was ready for his little rest. So he first was eating out of the fish bowl, then the cat food, and now he's eating toast. This chair is too ouchy. This chair is too noisy. And this chair is just right. A little rest is nice, but what the bear needed to really feel like himself again was a good old-fashioned nap in a comfy bed. So the ouchie was a cactus plant, and the noisy one he sat on the cat. And then it looks like a bean bag. Oh, this bed is too frothy. This bed it's too pink. This bed is just right, and soon he nodded off. The bear dreamed of crunching through the leaves. The bear dreamed of pattering around in his slippers. The bear dreamed of a voice shouting very, very loudly. Oh, wonder what that loud noise was. Somebody has been eating from my fishbowl, said the daddy person. Somebody has been eating my dear little pumpkin's kitty nibbles, said the mommy person. And somebody has been eating my toast, said the little person. And they've eaten it all up. Unfortunately, the bear was not dreaming at all. He was wide awake and back in real life again. Look, he can hear them. Somebody has squished my cactus, said the daddy person. Somebody has upset my dear little pumpkin, said the mommy person. And someone has popped my beanbag chair, said the little person. Somebody has been sleeping in my bath, said the daddy person. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said the mommy person. Shh, whispered the little person. I think that somebody is sleeping in my bed right now. Look, the bear has one eye open. 
the bear peeked from under the covers to see a daddy person, a mommy person, and a little person standing right there. The bear thought that the mommy person looked ever so slightly familiar, and the mommy person thought that gobbling other people's breakfast, breaking other people's stuff, and snoozing in other people's beds seemed ever so slightly familiar too. Hmm. And it was. I wonder who she could be. <gasps> Baby bear, said the mommy person. <gasps> Goldilocks, said the bear. So that was Goldilocks, and that was the, used to be the baby bear that is all grown up. They hadn't seen each other in ages. Porridge? asked Goldilocks. The bear nodded, so Goldilocks cooked up a big bowl and plunked it in front of him. Oh, now he's eating the porridge. It was not too hot. It was not too cold. It was just right. It made the bear almost forget about that once upon a time when Goldilocks had behaved so badly, this little bear would never dream of doing anything like that. And although it had been good to see Goldilocks living so happily ever after with those charming people, the bear decided it was time to go back home to the woods. And it looks like he bought a bunch of stuff at the big city and taking it back to the woods. The end.